you over here. Hello? Anybody here? Come to me. It's all right. It's all right. I have you. Come on. Come on, let me. I'll get you. Come on. Easy. Easy. This is easy. Take it handy. Okay, just stay there. Okay. Do you know where you are? Yeah, thank you. Do you know yes. who I am? Yes, thank you very much. Okay, I'm the fireman. Do you know who you are? Yes, yes, thank Who you. are you? Can you tell me? Can you tell me who yes. you are? Yes, thank you. Okay, okay. I'll go. I'll be back in a minute. I've got to see there's somebody else here. I'm sure I heard a voice. I'm sure I did. Come on, right here. Hello? What are you doing here? You're meant to be there. Not here. Go back to there. No, please stay in a safe place. I'm trying to keep everybody together. It's very hard. There's just rubble. Blocks and concrete and bloody beams everywhere. And fire. Look, just stay here. Believe me. You're safe with me. Yeah. I'm the farmer. Thank you. Okay. Okay, just take it easy. Is there anything you'd like? Anything I can get you? Thank you. You sure you're okay? Thank you. Okay, just take it easy. Sit down here. Take it easy. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'm sure I can hear somebody else. Hello? Hello? Are you cold? Please. Uh, hello? Hi, my, my name's Marina. I'm the aqua aerobics instructor at the gym. Uh, Martha, finally. Get my coffee, will you? Coffee? Get some coffee. I'm going to get dressed. I'm going to need to see There's a kettle. This kettle. Do you want a cup of tea? Can I get you a cup of tea? Okay. Coffee? Can I get you a cup of coffee? Tea or coffee? Yeah, I have brown sugar and milk. What way do you take what way do you take your coffee? Yeah, no, don't yeah. you do it every yeah. morning for me. Tea. Brown sugar and milk. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, just get this up. Hmm. That'll make us feel better. So I was basking in the jacuzzi, bobbling away. Oh, it feels like a week ago now. I love the early mornings in the pool. Ah, oh, the peace and quiet. The calm before the storm. Before the aqua aerobics crowd ride. Ah, oh, I love just sitting there, looking out the window. There's ceiling to floor windows on the east side of the leisure centre. All the way, all east wall. Today was great the contrast. I just sat in my hot spring cocoon, bobbling away, looking at the wind, lashing the trees outside, looking at the rain, pelting up against the window, running down, streaming down in front of me, mesmerising. Droplet after droplet after droplet, like some primitive binial code. I think it's like human beings, you know, just running our course and immediately replaced and running our course and immediately replaced. Everything is connected. I'm just sitting there, 
watching the trees swaying and bending, sucking up their life blood, watching the rain like a veil. Think of all the man-made water systems, the infrastructures, running pipes to every house, to millions of houses, to millions of sinks, to pour millions of kettles, to make millions of cups of tea, showers blasting, toilets flushing, simple semen, but yet so complex. <laughs> like a butterfly's wing flap in Thailand, causing a tsunami somewhere else. Listen to me just babbling away. This kettle doesn't seem to be boiling. The place is a bit of a mess. I wish I could just get the lights started out. carry water. <laughs> Ever since I was a child, I've always carried water. I grew up by the sea and I, um, one stage I was obsessed, I think, I think I was about 10, obsessed with the idea of drinking water and I'd regale anybody who'd listen with my theory that if you drank enough water, it would increase your buoyancy while swimming. <laughs> I was 10. I used to spend that whole summer skulking around the coastline, waiting to see a merman, a selkie. I even, with the aid of an onion and a westerly breeze, tried to cry seven tears into the ocean because they said that's what you had to do to induce him to come out. Me and my comrades wore a, I wore a seagrass wig to make myself look more attractive and I had minnows and periwinkles and all kinds of friends on my quest. Never did find the selkie though. Underwater, doing my morning links, my morning practice, weightless, effortless, peaceful. One, two, three, breath. One, two, three, breath. Up and down, rhythm. Selkie. I was swimming in the ocean, basking in my element, free, up and down in the ocean, the seaweed, the creatures, the fish. I was boundless in my spelt, seal skin. I was playing in the primordial suit. Bum, bum, aya, bum, 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 aya, win or lose, sink or swim, one thing is certain, we'll never give in. Then I was floating, basking in the sunshine, the sun beating down on my belly and diffusing the light of the surf into rainbows all around me. I was serene. And then I was boom, I was smashed against the rock. I was smashed against the wall of the swim. The tiles. I nearly died. I could have died. Did I die? Answer me! My mum 
to answer me. Find him. We find him. Sean. Sean's his name. Yeah, he had a name tag on. He did. It's all right. I have to. I have to get him out. It might take time, but you know it's all right. We 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 we'll reach him. But you have to stay calm and stay here. And, and did you boil the kettle? Or it's broken. It's broken. Yeah. I guess it is. Like everything else. Okay. Uh, okay. I think we need to stay calm here. I don't think there's anyone else to be rescued much in this place. And I, can't, I think we're kind of stuck uh, for a bit. I'm not sure how long. Did I want to I'll try. I, I, I'll try. I promise you, I need to rest. I've just been running around and scrambling through rubble and trying to find fire extinguishers and things. There's just nothing around. And look at me, I've lost my radio. I've no contact with the outside. I've done the fucking best. I'm trying to keep calm all the time and reassure everybody. Hopeless. It's not hopeless at all. I've been in worse situations. I began my career in Belfast. I'm well used to situations. So take it easy, everybody. We may be here for some time. I know that's disappointing news for, for some people, but that's the way it is. I don't know what we're to do, but... Uh, I, I know, I mean, that's okay, I, I do understand, I, I've experience of this, as I say. I began my career in Belfast, so it began really as a, as a kid in the streets, back in the 50s. I had nothing much to do, so I mean, we used to um, look for excitement, sometimes watching the, uh, the fire engines going about, and firemen, you know, running about with their big helmets, their buckles, their, their brass, Buttons, their epaulets. I like their epaulets especially, and and, and and their boots, and they run about in the big red engines, and the bell ringing like hell, and us hiding up the entry, looking out down the alleyway, at the fireman putting out the fire, the fire itself. Well, that was sensational. I mean, Belfast was full of coal and fuel of all kinds for for, for putting in the ships like the Titanic. Of course, it sank. But I mean, that's a, another story. Um, but the coal light the fire, and my little fire at home was a lovely coal fire, and I used to sit in front of it as a little child, watching the flame bubble up. And I loved it. I loved Christmas with the candles. There's nothing like looking at a flame, watching it flicker and grow. And the colours change from red to gold to blue, and the plume of fire to grow. So watching the farming at work in Belfast was great. And it got so exciting when there was no fire. Well, me and a few of the other guys, we used to set off the fire alarm. There'd be a little red box in the street. You smash the glass, you pull the lever, you hide behind the hedge, and you watch the guys pelting up the street and trying to find a fire. They looked so disappointed. <coughs> they'd see it in their eyes. They'd, they'd look around and see no fire. So me and the guys, we thought, well, there's a solution to this. So, well, we brought along a match. We started a fire. <laughs> that was great. It meant that we could have firemen and fire brigades and flames at a drop of the hat or a click of the match. So it was great. And it meant that all our leisure time in Belfast could be filled with leisure activity. You're down in the leisure centre. You know what that's like. But you like water. 
I like fire. In fact, I can't stand water. <laughs> I usually turn it into steam. <laughs> so, with the fire, it was great. And of course, the whole situation expanded exponentially. I mean, fire just became a way of life, as it seems to be in the world at the moment. I mean, any area can become a battle zone, and the element of fire can be in its element, so to speak. I mean, you just have to strike a match, light an explosive, get some Semtex. So it was simple enough in Belfast. Well, from lighting little fires, we could light bigger ones, massive ones. And the 11th night, when we lit the bonfires, before the 12th, that was our inspiration. We would gather up the wood. We would cut down trees. We would collect old machineries, things like televisions and old cupboards and bedsteads and mattresses. Well, we'd pile them up until the bonfire was up to the ceiling. In this case, the sky, 50 feet. And in the middle, we'd build a tiny little hut. And in the middle of the bonfire, in the tiny little hut, we'd be tiny little me with a match. <laughs> and when the bonfire was big enough, of course, I would light it. And you'd be in the centre of the bonfire. And then you'd roll out of the hut and stand at a distance from the flames. And of course the flames grew and grew. And such an aesthetic experience. Such a joy to be among. Because the heat, the light, the flames, the smoke, the smell. Have you smelt burning? Have you smelt burning? There's nothing like the smell of a singe. A great old singe. Singed wood, singed leaves, singed flesh. We're all permeable. We're all malleable. We're all burnable. So... It was a simple and short step to incandescence, illumination. I was lit up with desire for fire. All the music seemed to fit too. Fire. Fire was in love, burning with love. Every single metaphor, every single adjective, every single simile connected with fire. I burned with it. I found my passion. And so I moved on into business. And there's no business like fire business. Fire business is big business. The bigger the fire, the bigger the business. And so when you burn something down, you have to replace it. So soon I was opening carpentry businesses to replace the burnt staircases, the burnt window frames, the burnt floors that were in houses. I was then reglazing whole areas because windows pop out when you light a good blaze. Everything needs to be replaced. It's the same with a volcano. It's the same with any natural element. Fire sweeps it clean, clears the decks, makes it new for nature to grow again, for new seeds to pop up, for new ideas to come up on your computer screen. And for leisure centers, well, that's another story. I find fire gives me enough fulfillment in my life. So I intend to carry on. I'm a wealthy man. This complex... People are puzzled about how it ever could go on fire. Ha! <laughs> well, heaven forbid. It's simple enough. With my experience, I can do things that are quite magical. I can bring anything down, send anything up. It's my life as a farmer. I'm getting distracted. I guess you people are getting a bit upset. I'm sorry, I, I, did get, I tend to get a bit distracted with fire. You see, it's my element, as I say. And I love it. I love it. I really love it. <laughs> I do. And you say your water. Your water will come. Come water. <laughs> I love water. Water is brilliant. No, look, no, please, please, just step forward. I can demonstrate the power of fire. You see, you're so passive. I can just set you on fire. Magic, isn't it? Stronger than water, isn't it? Drop a tear on this. <laughs> and what about you? Nature, the world, the globe, the great earth. One match. Arch. I sweep through you. One volcano, I blow you apart. Look at the sun. Arch. Look at the universe. You talk of laptops and stuff. Well, it's pure nothing. Nothing. It's only smoke in a breeze. Smoke on a screen. So many pixels. I'm sorry, I'm getting carried away. I can't. I'm upsetting everybody. That's my trouble. I... I've no friends, really. That's the trouble with fire. I don't know. It's a bit lonely, really. Burning everything all the time. 
I'd like to have a bit more fun. You guys are so deadbeat. Look, why don't we do something? We're stuck here in this basement. It's my dilemma. It's what I'm involved in at the moment. It's my kind of, I have to see what comes out of it for everybody. I don't know what the end is in this. I'm getting agitated again. I need to calm down. Ah, okay, look, do you want to have some fun? Look, I'm sorry, I upset you. I really am. I can't help it. It's just that I'm fired, you know. I'm fireman, I mean. I'm fireman. I'm fired. I get carried, carried away. 